What's up everybody, it's VK here. So, I wanted to make you guys another talking video. I want to talk today about experiencing self-doubt while chasing your goals and dreams. Because I think that that is definitely something every single person goes through. Whenever they're trying to follow through on a goal or follow through on a dream or something they're trying to accomplish in life. So, I just want to make a video talking about that and give you guys my own personal life experiences with doubt and the things that I've been through and how I've conquered them and how I ended up ultimately getting on here with you guys and building the confidence to do that and everything throughout my life. So, I just want this video to benefit anybody who is chasing a big dream or a big goal that they have that might be experiencing some doubts because I know that we all go through that. It's an off-the-cuff video. I have no clue what I'm going to say. I didn't plan it as always with these videos. I just like to talk to you guys. So I hope that this can help some people. We're going to get into it. The first thing about self-doubt is that it, it tends to start from the opinions of others that start to get formulated once you start doing your thing because especially if you're trying to like start a business or like get like customers or like build an audience with something that you're doing you're always going to have people that can see that and they're going to be like I don't mess with that person I don't I don't vibe with that person what they got going on is crap or I don't like it and you'll have to learn how to deal with the emotional impact that that has when you hear those kinds of words to me i'm just fucking numb to it like people in my life have told me no so many fucking times that like i just don't i don't have like an emotional response to it anymore i just like if there is one it's me like saying something smart assed back to them rather than being like offended and shit like that. That's how I generally tend to handle that type of thing whenever it comes to nowadays. But back in the past, man, I would be popping off. <laughs> I swear it was bad. I used to get so fucking mad. I used to get really, really mad and I used to let it eat up at me and I want to like fucking let it affect my day and, and let it affect how I moved for the rest of the day and I would be in a grumpy mood and shit if somebody said something mean to me or whatever about my music and stuff like that that I was working on and it just got to a point where those types of things got said to me personally so many fucking times over the years that now when somebody says it I just laugh because I'm like you don't realize that you think you're saying something right now when in reality I've heard this a hundred thousand fucking times times at this point and every single time somebody said no that's not gonna work I don't think you should do that we arrive at a place like where we are on this channel <laughs> and then you'll have to deal with sometimes people will act bitter towards you or they'll like be weird with you because they got proved wrong but they don't want to say congratulations or anything to you because that would be them admitting they're wrong and well, people don't like to do that you guys know people don't like to do that especially when it comes to another person's success that they tried to thwart and say wasn't gonna happen so with dealing with that that's my best advice is honestly bear the storm you might get your feelings hurt a couple times in the beginning and that'll cause some self-doubt, like, oh, are these people right? That sort of thing. Don't buy into it, man. Don't buy into their bullshit. Don't buy into them telling you you can't do something. Anybody can do anything that they want to do. We all have free will on this planet. We can all make the life that we want. You could be a businessman one day, and if you want to start a fucking YouTube channel and inspire people the next, you can do both at the same time. And you can make music, too, if you want to, at the same time. You can do all of it at the same time, if you can manage the time and manage the stress of having that many things going on so whenever you're doubting so if you're like for me like let's for, say from a songwriting perspective sometimes i'll write shit and i'll be like 
questionable about it. Like, is that flow perfect? Are those words perfect? Is the message going to get across right? Did I tell the story good enough? And at the end of the day, it always just ends up being minimal editing at all because I realize that people vibe with raw emotion when it comes to songwriting, especially in the climate of songwriting today where there isn't a lot of emotional substance in what the mainstream likes to push and everything like that when you get the the gems that actually express valid emotion and tell proper stories with lyricism i don't think it matters how perfectly crafted the words are it matters how perfectly represented and real the emotions in it are so like take that from a songwriting perspective for me and then if you're trying to open a business or something flip it to that like what what thing of marketing entertains people the most? What can we do to draw people in the best and entertain them and make sure they have a good time inside of whatever business it is that you're running? You guys know what I mean. Like, if you want to fucking open a restaurant or something like that, you want it to have, like, the coolest decorations and the nicest vibe and, like, the nice background music, the perfect songs and stations for background music for people to have, like, a nice romantic night or night out with their family or just somewhere that's nice to go that will get good ratings and good reviews and we'll get good marketing and everything that's in the perspective of opening a restaurant or a business or something you just have to think about it and eventually it'll get to a point where even in the moments where you doubt yourself you'll realize that every time you doubted oh people are gonna hate this that i did or people aren't gonna like this thing that we're gonna do realize that every time you've done it before and you've thought that people came to you and said hey i fuck with that and i really like you and i like what you're doing keep that in mind every time you have those doubts remember the last time that you doubted and then remember what people's response was and gauge the fact that it's gonna be that same kind of response this time as long as you stay in that same wheelhouse that you know has been working for you sometimes the climate will change and you'll have to make adjustments with that like for instance back in my folk punk days I would say a lot of crazy shit about like politics and stuff like that and now I aim more at the emotional perspective of life because I basically politicked myself all out like if you want politics go listen to my older music because I'm not going to write every song about that the way that I used to because now that I have more life experience, I want the music to emotionally help people and break the barrier of like feeling alone and shit like that. So you'll have to adjust to like the climate of your emotional situation and how you feel about the world and what's going on around you. Right now, I think that the only important thing about politics is fucking rebuilding them at this point into something that's beneficial for everybody the world needs more emotion like we need to connect with each other emotionally more i should say that's how i'm trying to say this we need to connect more emotionally with each other so now in my wheelhouse of songwriting and everything i want the songs to represent that more than all the political issues and stuff going on in the world because we can cover those with talking videos and reaction videos when we do songs about that kind of stuff so when it comes to the music i don't want to dial in on that because i just want it to be a story of my life and what i experience around me and what i've seen in my life and i want it to inspire other people that are struggling to also go do that same fucking thing for their self by growing and managing their emotions better and learning how to chase their dreams and actually accomplish them and everything like that and we still got a long way to go on like my ultimate goal for what i want to do with music and everything like we still got a long ways to go with that but we're well on our way now thanks to all of you guys and thanks to what we have going on here and that's the big step that got taken for me in the past year it really it, it you guys don't realize how grateful i am because 
every person that ever told me that I wasn't going to be shit, you guys are the ones that proved that wrong. Not me. It wasn't me. It was you guys showing up and you guys sticking around and actually growing and building something wonderfully awesome with me on here that proves everyone wrong because I don't think anybody thought I had that in me because I was too, like, stuck inside of my shadow side, so to speak, when it came to being addicted to drugs and alcohol. But the second that was clicked out of my life, I became a totally different person and like embodiment of energy than I was before. I felt like I didn't even know myself at that point. So it's truly a blessing to be able to get on here and talk to you guys because not only did it prove everything that I believed to be true about never accomplishing shit wrong, it also provided a community where all of you can help each other and we can help new people that come in and inspire people to stop doing drugs, to stop drinking, to get closer to their own heart and to have God inside of their heart as well as one that I like to encourage to get closer to God and Jesus and live inside of faith better and really appreciate the beauty of life and how when you just kind of let go and let things naturally happen and allow God and the universe to move inside of your life, things just get moved out of your way whenever they're trying to stand in front of you at some point. And that's been proven on here time and time again. Like, I, I can't count the amount of negative comments that people have been like, stop doing what the fuck you're doing on here. Like, I get them weekly. I just got one yesterday. I, I got one yesterday that was, like, telling me how to do stuff and shit. Not, not, um, not the deals. You know who you are. You'll probably see this video. The Dills. I liked your comments. Your comments were nice. I enjoyed those. There was different ones <laughs> that happened on other videos from way back. Older videos. I get like random hate comments on the old videos and stuff too. I just look at them and I fucking laugh. And every now and then I'll say something smart ass back or maybe like a little bit huh, back. But you guys know how it goes. You guys know. I'm blunt, so I, I can't help myself. Sometimes I just want to be a smart ass and say something back to somebody. But you don't even have to respond to that shit. Like, it's unnecessary. It's not necessary. You're not going to feel any more fool by responding. You're just going to kind of have acknowledged it and now move on still. You know what I mean? So it doesn't really matter either way how you respond to it. You just have to reach the point where you're so confident in yourself after those types of things are said to you and shit like that. So don't let anyone else make you doubt. Don't let yourself make you doubt because I promise you, if you just get out there and you do it, even though there's going to be people that hate what you're doing and there's going to be people that aren't fond of what it is that you do with yourself, that comes with the territory of everything. You can't be for everyone. Anyone that's for everyone isn't for anyone. So consider it like that, right? It's the same concept as a person being for the streets. <laughs> it's the same concept. <laughs> Anybody that is for everybody is not for anyone. <laughs> so, like, you have to have that balance of people that don't fuck with what you're doing and people that do. Don't let it make you doubt. Get out there, chase your dreams, get good at what it is that you want to do inside of your life, and show people the growth inside of it. Show them that as time goes on, you're going to continue to get better and better at what it is that you're doing because now you've put it into practice. Now you've put it into a position in your life where you're so dedicated to it that it's going to get crafted a little bit more smoothly every day. Like if somebody's learning how to do pottery, eventually they'll be making the type of bowls that will get sold on fucking line a hundred years from now for like ten thousand fucking dollars just because it's like an artifact you guys know what i mean you guys know what i'm saying so it's like the the quality will start to improve as you do it more you can't worry about things maybe being a little shoddy at first like to say that my first music was the best stuff i've ever made 
It definitely wasn't. It w- I don't think it was terrible. And I think the message inside of it was good. And I think a lot of people related to it. And I'm glad that they did. And I'm glad that it did its thing and benefited people's lives and inspired them and everything like that. But as time's gone on, I've learned how to take those same concepts that I was trying to express back then and say them even more poetically and even more deeply to where it's going to hit you even harder. And I've always had a really deep and blunt style of writing. So even the first songs I wrote were insanely deep, like the song I have up on here, Fears of a Fearless Man, was one of the first songs I ever wrote. And if you go listen to it, the lyrics of it are really deep and emotionally beneficial from a social anxiety standpoint and making people feel less alone inside of social anxiety. So even if it's a little bit not perfect at the beginning, just let the mistakes happen and let the little bumps happen. And before you know it, Every single time you go to do something, you'll realize you're getting better at it. And you just have to take that and run with it. And don't doubt the fact that you'll land in that great area that you want to be in, the level of greatness that you want to achieve inside it, whatever it is that you're doing. You'll arrive there eventually. And that's really all there. We reached our storage limit, so I had to start a second part. But no, eventually you will arrive in that level of greatness that you want to with whatever it is that you're trying to do inside of your life, whatever that is for you. And you just have to remember, man, no matter what, no matter what anybody says, no matter how many people tell you no, the answer is always fucking yes when it comes to achieving your dreams. Nobody gets to take that away from you. Nobody gets to tell you the way that you're going to live. Nobody gets to dictate that. Get out there. Stop doubting yourself. Believe that you can do what you want to do. And then learn how to do it. And live your best fucking life. Fuck all of these people that say people can't. Everybody can There isn't a single person that can't. Everybody can live their best life if they choose to. It's all down to your decision making and it's all down to the moves that you make. So stop doubting yourself. Believe in yourself. Do what you love to do. And go kick some fucking ass. I had to get passionate for you guys towards the end here. I wanted to... Make sure that you guys really got the point there. Listen, I'm so tired of living in a world where people think they can't chase their dreams. That's really what this video boils down to. We can all have our dreams. We don't have to be jealous of each other. We don't have to tear each other down inside of it. We don't have to act like children. Because that's what that is, is acting like children. It's not high school. Go live your best life. That's what I have to say to close this video out. I love you guys so much. Thank you for turning this into an amazing channel where we inspire each other, where we can be here for each other and learn through amazing music and grow as people together each and every day. I'm very fond of getting on here and hanging out with you guys and it means the world to me that you also feel the same way and come hang out with me. Thank you so much. Go get your dreams. I love you. Have a blessed night. Peace.